hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and let's look at the screen quickly is it possible to start your phd or your funded opportunity in the uk as early as the 1st of april 2025 well that is what this website suggests that you can actually start fully funded master's phd 1st of april with a stipend of over 19000 pounds to also begin, you do not even need a master's. So this is a PhD opportunity, but you can move directly with a BSc and a master's is just optional. So wait a minute, how true is this? So this is February. This video will be out in February. So it means you just have two months or less to resume. So I checked this again and then I discovered that it's actually for home students. So those based in the UK. And then when I scrolled up, I discovered the deadline has already passed. Home students and with the deadline of the 23rd. So why am I bringing this to your notice? notice? If it has passed already and it's just for home students and not for international students. Well, the reason is because there are other universities still accepting international students and the application window is still open. You can see this one on your screen. The application deadline is in March. There are others, application deadlines, maybe late February, March, or April. And these are the opportunities we'll be looking at together. Those that are still open, and more importantly, those still open for international students to apply. So welcome to my YouTube channel. It is Victor once again. It is another day. We have another scholarship. Welcome, Bo. Where have you been? There are hundreds of videos already on this channel on fully funded scholarships from around the world. So look around. I'm sure you'll find something that catches your interest. And if you're a returning subscriber, a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Thanks for the constant support. And I hope you get a scholarship sooner than later. So let's get into the meat of this video. First of all, I showed you this, saying that students will start on the 1st of April. Now I have clarified that it is not for you except for home students and the deadline for this just passed some days ago. So what do I have for you? Lots of juicy opportunities actually. So this is at Coventry University and just scroll down you see there are 13 items, 13 opportunities for you. And look at this one for instance. It's about resilience of pastoral societies to social ecological change in central Kenya. So those working in environment and sustainability and in resilience will find this particularly useful. So let me click on this quickly and show you what I mean. As you can see, it's both for international students and UK students. So you want to keep an eye on this and make sure that it is also for international students. So you do not get um, apply for something and then you get kicked out because you're not eligible. And as you can see as well, the deadline is the 27th of May. So for this one, there's a lot of time to actually apply for it. So the summary of the project is already here. The title of the project has been given to you. So they want you to just come in to take up this project and work with the supervisor. So the research question, the research focus um, have already been clarified for you. So let's scroll down. So this is all the project is all about. You're meant to read this. And then funding contains tuition and then your bursaries. Application requirements, very important. For your application requirement, um, a 2-1 bachelor's degree is sufficient. So you do not need a master's. This is a PhD opportunity, but you do not need a master's. So just a 2-1 in your bachelor's is sufficient. And yes, they talked about the English language test, but this university gives waivers for those who already studied in the English language. So if you have proof that you did your undergrad in the English language, you are good to go. The application procedure is also stated here. They want you to write a cover letter, um, a supporting statement, like um, a proposal or something of 2000 words. These documents or how to put, there are tutorials on this channel on how to prepare these documents. So just go to my channel, you're already on my channel, go to the home page, 
scroll down a little go to this place letters of motivation statement of purpose we said proposal you get all the letters here so i've got you through and through so select or check for your own opportunity at coventry university there are 13 of them here as you can see fully funded no masters needed you can just move straight away from your bachelor's to a phd so that is coventry i have another one at the university of liverpool liverpool university and now you'll be looking for opportunities open to students worldwide and not just uk or eu applicants so students worldwide click on it and see so let's look for the first one let's see what the first one is all about so it's still something about the environment and then gives you a description so it means those researching the environment this should interest you and you have the gist about what this project is all about then what do they need a bachelor's degree or a master's so a master's is not compulsory if you have it an added advantage but it's not compulsory proficiency in english as i told you if you already studied in the english language no need for an english language test and then it is funded to get your stipend over 20 or close to 20,000 at least in stipend you also get research training however they said that you would cover your own visa cost and your travel cost so they're giving you full tuition giving you stipend but you have to cover your visa cost yourself i hope that is clear and the deadline is march 15th not so far away but you've got some time so that's that's good news great so engage with this if you're interested if it is your area of interest and as usual i wish you good luck so let's go back once again check for your own field and you can always use the filter function as well to check for the department that you're interested in and see what is available in your department in your area of interest i have yet another one for you at nottingham university and these are the opportunities a very long list here and there's something in bioscience the deadline is the 7th of March. I think different projects have different deadlines. So pay attention to the project in your area of interest. Pay attention to the deadline. So I just opened one. Good again, they give you their summary of the project. So you're not coming in blind. You know exactly what the project is just about, what the, what the project is all about, and then you're coming to show that you have the background, you have the skills, you have the interest to undertake this project. And you're starting in October, early October. Once again, they just need a BSc. And here, BSc in Biology or Environmental Sciences. And to apply, this one is also very simple. Send a CV and a cover letter to this email address and state your case. However, yes, this is different. This is for only UK citizens. So we have to go back there and look for the ones for um, international students. So it's a good thing I check that. Do the same. So before you apply, check is it for um, international students as well? If no, run away. If yes, great. Take advantage of it. This is yet another opportunity. And where it is not written, whether you need to be an international student or a UK student, you can always ask questions and say, I've read through, but it wasn't specified. And can I apply? Can I not apply? I think um, um, you'll get your clarification from the email address provided. 
And that is it, guys. Fully funded direct PhD. You do not need a master's. It's not compulsory. It is useful if you have one, but not compulsory. And it covers your full tuition, covers your stipend, covers research training as well. So we're still on. The deadline is not yet has not yet elapsed, but start working towards it so you're not caught unawares. As usual, guys, I cannot wait to celebrate you. So get to work. This is a quick update on what is still out there. Universities are still accepting for the September, October 2025 intake. So do not be left out. As usual, I cannot wait to celebrate you. So get to work, and I'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.